A very good morning you all. I am Tarkeshwar Pandey and today I am going to start our 7th chapter of EVS. The name of the chapter is From the Window. The target learning outcomes of this chapter are Number 1. Engages and participates in discussion on the themes related to Causes of noise pollution, need for bridges, languages spoken, cloths, food items. Once again, engages and participates in discussion on the themes related to causes of noise pollution, need for bridges, languages spoken, cloths, food items. Number two. Sensitivity to cultural diversity. Once again, sensitivity to cultural diversity. And uh, number three, relationships. Number three is relationships. We will focus on observation and discovery of facts skill during this chapter. For better understanding of this chapter, we will use a strategy in a group. So let's start our chapter. The name of this chapter is From the Window. You have just finished the previous chapter Omana's Journey. This chapter is also the next part of Omana's Journey. In previous chapter you had known that Omana had been sat at the window seat and enjoyed the beautiful view outside from the moving train. Now we will discuss about her views that she saw. Now you have known why is the name of this chapter from the window. Because this chapter describes about those things which Omana saw from outside of window. But before starting this chapter, I want to revise the previous chapter once again for your better understanding. Okay. <coughs> Omana and Radha were two young girls and best friends. Both were excited as their families were going on a trip to Kerala. Omana with her family was going to her grandmother's house whereas Radha was going on a vacation with her family. Radha fractured her leg so her family had to cancel the trip. Both the friends were very sad on this account. Radha's mother suggested, suggested Omana to write a diary about the trip. Both the girls were excited with the idea. Omana reached Gandhi Dham station with her family. Her father checked their name in the reservation chart and boarded the train. When the train started, a ticket collector came. A ticket collector came and checked their tickets. Omana sat at the window sheet and enjoyed the beautiful views outside from the moving train. When the train was running at a very high speed, it seemed that things outside are moving in the opposite direction. Omana wrote all the things that she saw and what had happened during her journey in a copy. Omana made two friends Sunil and Anne during her journey. This was our previous chapter. Now I am going to start our today's chapter. Next morning the train in which Omana was traveling reached Madgaon, which lies in the state of Goa. Now it was morning. Last night, 
Umana went to sleep early. It was too dark to see anything outside. When the train stopped early in the morning, Umana woke up. This station was Madgaon. That was written on the board at the platform. Appa said that they were going through the state of Goa. They got off at the station and had some hot tea and filled their water bottles. The train started again. Umana found it was a difficult to describe the scene outside the train. It was so beautiful. It was green everywhere, fields with red soil and green crops. Hills were covered with trees. Sometimes Omana could see small ponds and far away behind the hills more water. She could not understand it was a river or the sea. The air was cooler and not so dry as Ahmedabad. The train passed a level crossing. People were waiting on both the sides of the crossing for the train to pass. There were buses full of people, cars, trucks, auto rickshaws, cycles, motorcycles, scooters and even tongas and bullock carts with people and goods in them. Some people did not switch off the engines of their vehicles. Even while waiting at the level crossing, there was a lot of smoke and noise. Omana saw some people were going under the bars of the level crossing. It was very dangerous. They should not do like that. At times, their train crossed another train. Unni and Omana tried to count the carriages in one such train. But both the train were going so fast, so they always got confused. Later Omana was sitting near the window with her eyes closed. Suddenly the sound of the moving train changed. Khur 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 khur. She opened her eyes. Their train was crossing a very big river on a very long breeze. As it was crossing the breeze, it sounded very different. The wheels rattled as there was no ground, only the tracks and water down below. When Omana first look, looked down, she felt giddy. It was really quite scary. The river down below was full of water and had some boats. Omana could also see some fishermen on the banks. She waved at them but she did not know if they could see her. Alongside that breeze there was another breeze for buses and cars. This was built differently, differently from theirs. Omana thought going over their breeze was more adventurous. The last few hours had been so exciting. After breakfast, she climbed on to the upper berth to read her comics. It was bright and sunny outside. Suddenly everything became dark. It was also felt a little cold inside. Umana was afraid. Somebody said, We have entered a tunnel. This goes right through the mountain. 
the tunnel seemed to go on and on and then just as suddenly they were in daylight outside it was sunny bright and green the train had crossed the tunnel omanas appa explained that they were on the other side of the mountain since then they had passed through four smaller tunnels now omana was enjoying going through the tunnels now it was afternoon for lunch they had idli vada that they bought from upd station they also bought some bananas these were very small and very tasty the scene outside changed again now they could see many coconut trees and green fields everywhere amma said that these are paddy fields the houses and villages looked very different people clothes were also different from what they seen in ahmedabad most people were wearing white or cream colored dhotis and sarees many people who were with them from ahmedabad had got off people had also got on to the train from different stations sunil's family was getting off at koji code which came around 6 o'clock they had exchanged addresses and planned to meet in ahmedabad you will also like sunil and n now it was night they had also started packing up the train would reach kotayam in about 3 hours that was where they had to get off that night they had to go to waliamma's house waliamma's house means mother's sister house waliamma's house means mother's sister house okay next day they had to take the bus that would take them to uh, amuma's house amuma's house or amuma's village means mother's mother village or mother's mother house they all were quite tired after all they had been on the train for two days it was a very long journey now i want to sum up all those things which we learned today in the chapter from the window we have just studied next morning the train in which omana was traveling reached madgaon which lies in the state of goa omana and her family had their tea at the station where they also filled water bottles the train started again omana looked quite joyful when she saw green fields red soil hills covered with beautiful trees and could not make out difference between river and sea behind the hill the train passed through a level crossing level crossing is a place where a train crosses a road once again i want to repeat the train passed through a level crossing level crossing is a place where a train crosses a road gates are built on both the sides of the road when a train crosses level crossing both the gates are closed so that no vehicle may interrupt the train there was a lot of noise dust and smoke at the level crossing 
Omana and Unni tried to count the coaches of the train which crossed them, but they got confused. During the journey, Omana's train went through a tunnel and crossed a breeze. There were around 2,000 breezes and 92 tunnels in the route from Goa to Kerala. Omana's train reached Kottayam at night. They devoured the train and went to Baliyamma's, means mother's sister house. They planned to go to Amuma's house, means mother's mother house, next morning by bus. That's all for today. We will meet shortly in the next video. So for that time, I want to wish you all have a great day. If you are first time viewer of this channel, then subscribe this channel and also press the bell icon for more updates about this channel.